right, good morning, guys. So today is day 53. Um, we just got dropped off at the Ribble Trail by Weary Feet Hostel. So today I'm slack packing again. Um, one really nice thing about being kind of behind the bubble now is there's a lot of section hikers and a lot of them have cars. So um, they've been super nice and willing to take our stuff pretty much between hostels for us. So I've literally not had to carry my stuff like the whole entire time I've been back. And I've also not had to um, stay at a shelter since I've been back. So water has actually been like a really big challenge. Um, I think one of the only water sources I've really seen in the past few days is Dismal Falls. There's been like several 10 mile stretches that have like no water at all. And yesterday when I got back to the hostel, I was pretty dehydrated. I was feeling pretty nauseous and pretty tired. I have been carrying liquid IV though, so I drank some of that and I feel a lot better today. And I have some of that in my water now. Electrolytes are so important when you're out here and it's in the upper 80s and there's not a lot of water. But yeah, anyways, the plan today is to head to um, Woods Hole Hostel, which is like nine miles from this Blue Blaze Ribble Trail that we just got back on at. There is a huge climb today. So the first couple miles is pretty flat, and I say that, but I'm climbing right now. And then after that, it's just straight uphill. So I'm really glad I don't have all my stuff. But yeah, I'm enjoying staying in the hostels, but I kind of, at a certain point, I'm like, I really need to get back out in the woods, stay in the woods. Um, like I said, it's just been so hard with water. None of the shelters in this area really have water, so if you want to camp at them, you have to carry enough to drink, eat, and drink the next day. I apologize for the super short video yesterday. Um, I made a new friend and we spent the day hiking together. Today I'm gonna make sure I do a lot better with filming. I love how I just spent time explaining that there's no water in this area and here's water. Um, but really though, this area around Dismal Falls, and I think this might be part of Dismal Creek, is one of the only areas that has water. I am definitely silk blazing this morning. And for those of you who don't know, silk blazing is when you're like the first one to be on the trail and you get all the cobwebs all over you. Oh wow, such a pretty pond. And looks like there's some camping up there and some camping right here. Man. Virginia's making me eat my words today. I said there was no water anywhere and there's water everywhere. So right back there over that hill is the famous Wapiti shelter. And I'm not gonna walk back there because I don't need a break right now. And it just adds extra miles. I can get back on get back on the AT and head north instead. But yeah, there's the sign for it. So that shelter is kind of famous because um, two people were murdered there in the 80s. And there's a little bit of debate whether they were murdered in that shelter or what used to be the old Wapiti shelter. I know at some point they replaced the old Wapiti shelter and built that one in its place, but I believe that was before the murders took place. So pretty spooky. I did not want to camp there. All right, so I'm at 2,600 feet in elevation and the ridge is 3,900 feet but I am ready to knock out this climb. Whew, all right, finish that big climb. And it is beautiful up here on this ridge and it's also a lot cooler, which is really good because it is hot. So much foliage here. I feel like I'm walking through a jungle. And I also feel really itchy, and like, once I get to Woods Hole, I'm gonna need to check for ticks. Because I do not want any more tick bites. Oh, looks like this is a road. Hmm. So this is literally the trail right now. Oh my gosh. And a lot of these are thorns. There's no way I'm gonna make it to Woods Hole without at least one tick on me today. My goodness. Almost there and it's only like 1230, so that's awesome. Um, all my stuff is at Woods Hole, but honestly I may end up picking up my stuff and going a bit further today because it's early 
and I feel pretty good. Yay, I think I found it. That makes me feel a lot better because I was not confident that I was going the right way at all. It looks so cute. Hi, cutie. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. All right, so decided not to stay at Woods Hole. Um, so I got my stuff and I'm gonna keep going. But oh my gosh, it's so heavy. All right, this sign says that there's a view over here. So let's go check it out. Far out says it's only a short trail, so hopefully that's true. I almost walked right by the shelter, but I think it's just right down here. So I just made it to Doc's Knob Shelter, which is actually really cool. Look at these benches and picnic table. So nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here yet or if I want to try to go all the way to Parisburg. So Parisburg is like another eight miles from here. Um, feeling pretty good. It is getting later. It's three o'clock, but... Um, I still should have time. If I left now, I'd probably make it by 6 or 7, so it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, just gonna chill here for a minute and figure that out. So I made the crazy decision to keep on hiking. So now, my goal for today is to get to Cross Avenue, where I'm gonna get picked up by Angel's Rest Hostel in Parisburg. So yeah, this is basically gonna be a 20-mile day, which is crazy. Um, I slack-packed the first half of it which is really helpful because that was where most of the elevation was at. So it's pretty much all downhill into Parisburg. Um, there's a little bit of gradual uphill, but I'm not too worried about that. Also, my hip is doing really well. I actually think it's doing better, like, now that I'm back out on the trail than it was doing when I was at home. Oh my gosh. Bugs are driving me crazy. There's a ton of caves and like big rocks over here. Really cool. Angel's Rest Rock View. I'm gonna go check that out. Um, the Wilburn Valley View, which I just saw a minute ago, is 0.6. Doc's Knob Shelter is 5.8 miles back, and Obiti Shelter is 14.2. And where I'm going, I think, is the Route 634, and that is 1.7 miles. So thank goodness I'm almost done. So I'm almost to the road. I have like half a mile left and I just noticed that these trees fell on this power line, which is like right over the trail, which makes me pretty nervous. I think it's okay though. All right, survived the scary power lines. Whew, Appalachian Trail is trying to kill me today. I made it and I am tired. So, seven o'clock. The hostel's coming to pick me up now. Um, I'm really tired. I hiked a lot of miles today and I think I'm just going to get back and eat some food and take a shower. So I'll probably go ahead and end this video here, um, but tomorrow I am going to sleep in, so I will try to show you guys around the hostel. Have a good night.